Hi, this is Steven from Venus Optics, the maker of Lawa lenses here at Cinegear New York, day number one. Uh, we're here showing off our new line of anamorphic lenses. First, last year we launched the Lawa Nanomorph, 1.5 squeeze, super 35 coverage anamorphic lenses. In the Nanomorph line, we have mounts for mirrorless systems. This is an E-mount. We also offer it in Z, R, L, DL, Micro Four Thirds, and Fuji X mounts. All of those are user interchangeable. Uh, but at the show this year, brand new, we've got our set of uh, 2X squeeze anamorphic, still th Super 35 coverage, T2 through the set, starting with the 35 millimeter here. We've got a 45, a 60, and an 85 millimeter. All of them are available in either silver, blue, or amber flare. Um, and the look is something that just really you gotta see. So we're excited to be here at Cinegear showing these guys off. So we're here looking at the Lawa Proteus line of anamorphic lenses. We just launched these lenses a couple months ago. They should start shipping in the next couple months. But we have a full set of 2X anamorphics PLEF mount lenses. So we have everything starting from a 35 millimeter, 45 millimeter, 60 going up to an 85. Uh, three different flare options, silver as I have here, indicated by the ring on the outside, plus amber and uh, a blue flare option as well. Those flares are indicated by the ring going around the outside. Um, and so it makes it very easy to recognize what lens you've got in your hands when you're trying to swap out and look for a different look. Uh, so here's the 35 millimeter. Over to the side on the tripod here, I've got the 85. We move up to the 45 millimeter right here. And then we have the 60 millimeter. Each of these lenses comes with a T2 uh, aperture opening. And all of the mod gears are lined up and matched. The front ring is a 105 millimeter filter, a threaded filter. And the outer diameter is 114 millimeter to take your matte boxes. So really clean, sharp uh, set of anamorphic lenses for uh, all your filmmaking and uh, production uses. Uh, yeah, excited to see what these lenses are able to actually create now that they're out in the wild. So looking forward to see what you create with them. Uh, we're going to talk about the Lawa Paraprobe. So very similar to the Lawa Probe lens, 24 millimeter, f14 to f40, 2x, two times macro capability, able to get all kinds of interesting straight shots. So on here, I've got the straight borescope, but the kit also comes with a periscope lens that the front element threads off, everything's waterproof, up to the tip, back to the USB port, which powers the lights on the front of the lens when you're in close and you can't get other, any other light in there. The ability to plug in USB battery and add some additional light into your shot is definitely very convenient. The periscope element also has a, a USB port and lights on the front element. So uh, the periscope adds the ability to get into other odd angles where the the traditional borescope, the traditional probe lens, you need a big range behind your subject to be able to actually get the camera lens in there. But with the right angle on the periscope, you can come into uh, a shot from the side, and then also as with camera movements, what would have been a very big movement, swinging the whole camera around the axis of the lens, now you can do just by twisting the, the lens itself. There's a little clutch on the lens that allows us to adjust the angle of the lens and where it goes. So you can point any direction and adjust the orientation onto your sensor. So that's the Lawa Paraprobe. Comes in a kit with both the, the borescope and periscope uh, and comes in all different mounts, EF, PL, uh, RFZ. We've got a bunch of different mounts available for it.